Multiple mass shootings nationwide have left four people dead and several others injured. A Juneteenth celebration, a music festival, and a party all turning deadly. Here's ABC's Jacqueline Lee with the details. A Juneteenth celebration in Willowbrook, Illinois, turned violent early Sunday morning when officials say at least 20 people were shot, one fatally. 400 people outside, female screaming, um, reported of gunshots. Two of those who were shot are in critical condition, while others suffered what officials are calling graze injuries. The victims were transported to hospitals across several counties. The motive behind this incident is unclear then this is still an active investigation. In St. Louis overnight, authorities say multiple people were shot inside an office building where a party was being held. Multiple firearms were recovered at the scene, including AR-style rifle pistols as well as a handgun, which was found in the possession of a person of interest who's a juvenile, which was taken into custody by Plain Coast detectives. The victims, between the ages of 15 and 19, a 17-year-old killed. A total of 10 victims suffered apparent sh uh, gunshot wounds including the deceased. And in Washington state, another mass shooting when police say a gunman opened fire at a campground during a music festival. We have casualties. We now ha can confirm that there have been two people killed and there are three injured, which includes the shooter. According to the sheriff's office, the suspected shooter walked away from the scene before officers tracked him down. The shooter continued to shoot randomly into the crowd and the suspect was eventually taken into custody. The second day of that Beyond Wonderland Music Festival has now been canceled. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, New York.